So for today we're going to be looking at week 20 if I remember correctly and we're going to be looking at 801 and Eververse in that order so if you guys like the video like comment subscribe I really do appreciate it because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed so if you can do me a favor like comment sub would definitely appreciate it. Other than that let's look at the fit for the video because I know people are going to ask so this is something that I just did off the fly because I was getting tired of the old look and yeah this is my techno uh tactical set i guess you would say so yeah contender mask for the helmet the nucleosynthetic sheath for the caliban's hand veritas vest thunderhead strides and then the hardened basilisk cloak so i definitely really like this set and this set is pretty pretty much acquirable uh veritas and thunderhead are both in the game i think the hardened basilisk and the contender mask would be the only ones that are uh, actually, Hardened Basilisk would be the only one that is unobtainable. Contender Mask, you just have to wait until Guardian Games comes back. But if you want, were to ask me, what would you switch out for this one? You could literally, literally do a lot of things. Um, but if you want me to pick a safe choice, something that's in the game, then probably Dark Age Cloak. It doesn't fit the techno thing that well. Uh, so I would probably just say Thunderhead. Nope don't like that cloak uh probably exit is down with the hood down unfortunately the hood has that orange lines that i really don't like so i would most likely just do something like this um uh, are you something like this until we get the option to take the hood down omni oculus mask or the other helmet which i'm not the biggest fan of but let me show you this one right here you could do this as well but yeah that is pretty much it let me know what you guys think about the fit as for 801 we have ooh, i like the shader vitrified duality is one of my favorite shaders specifically because uh the purple glows really cool and i actually like the plate color as well and the navy as well i think all the colors really good i just don't like the fact that the some of the cloth armor or some of the cloth shadering is like a fucked up like color which i'm not a big fan of not even color more of a like just dirty we have Tangled Rust, another great shader. This def this shader I would definitely recommend because this gives armor more of a rusted look, more of a wet weathered look, which is why I really, really like it. And then uh, New Monarchy Succession, which is the orange one, if I remember correctly. Um, oh, it looks good with this armor set though. So yeah, this is the orange one. Unfortunately, I'm, wait, this isn't, the, oh, I think the orange one is, uh, uh not season but a uh, war war what's it called uh the third dlc i freaking second dlc technically um yeah i this one looks pretty good i'm not gonna lie definitely pick it up as for the armor set they're all right here this is a variation of the pvp armor set that we got from vanilla destiny 2 vanilla destiny 2 had a lot of reskins it's not even funny but for the hunters i think the helmet's cool the boots i can literally show you like three or four other variations of those boots chest piece is cool arms are cool cloak is whatever's titans i love all of it uh, aside from the mark i would recommend all of the pieces all of the pieces are amazing i would specifically want to recommend the chest piece the most just because the chest piece is absolutely one of my favorite chest pieces that the titans have in the game bar none it's so amazing the fur goes all the way down compared to the crucible one which doesn't go all the way down uh, titans i just think all of it is amazing warlocks unfortunately i think the helmet's the only cool thing everything else you guys look like bums so let me know what you guys are going to be picking up for 801 i definitely think the shaders are worth picking up and if you don't have the armor definitely pick some soon. of that armor up as for eververse we have Erebos glance which again i've made a review about this shader definitely a really good shader you should definitely pick it up luckily you guys have another option to or another chance to pick it up because last week they were they were selling this one uh lucid i love lucid lucid is one of my favorite shaders when it comes to like doing uh hive themes just because they comes out really really cool we have cannon fodder we have itsy bitsy spider for the recluse which again recluse is out now the into the light update is live and i just got this weapon on my first run with I'll, I'll show you in a bit after but yeah definitely cool do it yourself forge master or diy master forge master i should say i think it's cool i always love when sh uh, emotes have like an exit emote or exit animation i should say 
extra extravagant witchcraft or wishcraft i should say which looks really cool um i don't know if i want to pick it up because i never use this exotic but it definitely looks cool uh lunatic lunatics lunatics wow i cannot say the word lunatic lunatics legacy which doesn't look bad actually it looks pretty cool we have laser cutter this actually doesn't look bad either Izanagi's shell virulent cloak I will show you the titans and the warlocks after this <gasps> oh I get to pick up the titan and warlock ones now chicken dinner this is an old one uh, harpy entrance vex gate revival Only the finest. And then we have furry right here. Yeah, uh, sinking feeling definitely a cool shader. I would definitely recommend this shader for sure. Polished sea stone. Yeah gold gunmetal which i definitely would recommend this is a really really good shader and then sunrise warrior so that is pretty much it for eververse and 801 let me know what you guys are going to be picking up i've been playing into the light already i already got lc's rifle which i think this one is guaranteed but i got this for my first run which is pretty funny because it's actually pretty decent uh not decent it's really good repulsor brace Always good defeating a void debuff target grants overshield, which with Girl Falcon, this is going to be nasty. And then kills with any weapon, improve this weapon's damage for a short time. So this one's going to be a lot of fun. These two combinations, if I remember correctly, Master of Arms only works on headshot, if I remember, or critical damage, I think. But I absolutely love this role. This is going to be such a fun role to be like to play with, uh, with range finder. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun to run with this. Oof, I'm excited. I'm really, really excited. And of course, all of our old skins will work with this, which is so good. Because some of the old skins we got for it were really good. But this one, I'm definitely going to combine it with Necrosis. Necrosis is just such a good skin. Uh, for shadering, we're probably going to do... Yep, that, that looks cool. So, yeah, I've been playing this. I'm excited to do some more things with Into the Light. The armor is out, obviously, which is really really cool under seasons surprisingly excited to get this i will most likely be trying to get this as fast as i can so that way we can review it make armor sets with it because i am genuinely excited for this just because oh God, that looks kind of like like a smile and teeth and i don't know how i feel about that i'm really excited to just get the armor so i can start reviewing it because again some of the armor from this event or from this uh update is pretty pretty cool i'm not gonna lie like a lot of it's pretty decent so yeah we're gonna be doing that oh i did get edge, edge transit as well and yeah the other cool thing is let me just back out of the game real quick uh or out of uh, my character the really cool thing is you can change your characters now so my titan you uh used to be a female now it's a male which looks really bulky and we can do it anytime we want which is so amazing it's gonna make it's going to make doing like, I'm not going to, so here was a thought that I had and I'm not going to do it because that's just a lot, a lot, a lot of work for my plate right now. But I was thinking of when we we're reviewing armor, we could do it where we look at all of the males and then females, like not side by side, but like look at males first and then females. So that way people could get an idea of how they look. But again, it's just a little bit too much work for my plate right now because again, I have two jobs plus YouTube. And plus, sometimes I just don't want to do anything because I'm exhausted. So as cool as that idea sounds, I'm going to put it in the back until either YouTube is financially supporting me or you guys, maybe if I fucking put my Patreon up at one point. But yeah, the fact that we can change our genders is so cool now, because again, I'm going to be doing it for all the classes just to see how the armor looks. Titans, it's a little weird considering male Titans, like they're a little bit more bulky, which is to be expected. 
but I don't know if I like it or not. But yeah, Into the Light's out. I'm excited. Um, I'm going to be reviewing some of these weapons as well because, again, that's kind of what I want to do. I want to go back into doing that because I used to do that and it was kind of popular. And yeah, let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys. Remember, I'm going to have... Oh, that's the other thing I wanted to mention before I end the video is that this armor is here for one more week. This is your last week until all of this goes away and we don't know when it'll come back. So I usually hate this. I usually hate when it comes back because it doesn't come back as the same price. It's usually priced even more considering just the armor sets alone is going to be $45 plus all of this. It's just, it's ridiculous to ask this much for stuff that realistically should be like 25 at most for the season pass to come back. I definitely think that should be the case, but let me know what you guys think. I appreciate y'all. Be safe. I will see you guys later.